Hi, my name's Susie. I'm one of the MV instructors that teach at Minster. Today, we're hopefully going to be demonstrating with Bear the away command. Um, you can use this just for the aways that we teach in class, where we would send our dogs away to um, a box we make on the floor um, or away to a pole, etc. Um, but you can also use it to help with your distance control if you're struggling with that. Certainly I learnt it because Bear, um, whilst he was great at doing the commands at distance, he would creep forward further than the one dog length that's allowed. So um, by introducing the away command into his distance control, it meant that I could keep him within his one dog length that's allowed and I managed to pass uh, because of that. So. Uh, basically what we need to do is break this away command down into various segments so that you can learn each part separately and then put it together and then you can either just um, use it for the aways or you can you then add the aways into the distance control. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to teach Bear to go away to his lead. So the lead is over on the floor in front of the two-seater sofa just behind me. Bear's sat uh, just in front of me here and I'm going to ask him to stay. I'm going to go over to his lead and I'm going to pop the tree on top of his lead. Now the idea is that um, when I give him the command, he will go over towards that lead and he will find the treat. And as soon as he does and he's at that lead, I'm going to mark that behaviour with a yes. And then I'm going to follow straight in and give him another reward. So he knows that I've sent him away to an item. He's gone over. He's gotten a reward. Stay, Bear. And then he's been rewarded again. So, Bear, away. Yes, good away. Good boy. Yes, good job. With me. So I'm going to just do that again. Bear, sit. Good boy, stay. And take that trick back over and pop it on his lead. Stay. Away. Yes, good away. Good boy. Yes, good away. Good job with me. So I'm basically giving him his command. I'm marking that behaviour with that firm yes. So he knows that yes means he's done what I've asked him to do. I've followed straight in and I've given him a reward again. And I've reiterated that word away because it's a new command that he's learning. Sit. Stay. So basically, I want you to repeat that until your dog happily knows that when you do that, um, he goes straight over to his lead. And that's the first part you need to do. OK, so the next thing we need to do is get our dog to be able to go over to the lead without putting a treat on it in the first place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to the lead, which is still in the same position behind me. Um, I'm going to touch it. I'm going to come back to my dog and then I'm going to ask him to do the command of away. And then as soon as he goes over to the lead, I'm going to follow that in with a yes. I'm going to go straight in. I'm going to give him a reward. So here we go. Bear yours. And sit. Bear. Sit. Good job. Stay. So I'm just going to go over. Stay. I'm going to touch the lead. Stay. I'm going to come back. I'm going to say away, and Bear's gone straight over to the lead, so yes, good away, good away, good job. I'm going to reward him there. So we'll just do that again. Bear, come. Come. Good job, sit. Stay. I'm going to go back over to the lead. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to come back, stay, and ask him to go away. Away. As soon as he's there, yes, good away, good job, good boy here. Bear. Yes, good boy. Well done, good away. And then I need you to repeat that as many times as necessary until you're confident that your dog is starting to go away to that lead. And then you're gonna follow that in each time with that treat so he knows he's doing the right thing. Okay, so the next thing we need to teach our dogs is um, to go away to the item, but to then sit. Uh, the idea of this is because when you're doing the away in classes, you're asking your dog to go away to a box that's marked out on the floor. 
and you need them to actually stay in that area. So the best way to do that is get them to sit or lie down. Sit's an easy command. It's the very first thing we ever teach our dogs. So um, I use the away and then the sit. So I'm gonna ask Bear to go away. I'm gonna verbally mark that with the yes. I'm gonna immediately say sit. And as soon as he sits by the lead, I'm going to go straight in and reward him and make a fuss. So let's have a try. He's playing up a bit now. Over you come Bear. Good boy. Away. Yes, and sit. Yes, good job. Good job. Good sit. Well done with me. So we're going to have a few practices of this. So away. Away. Yes, and sit. Yes, good sit. Well done. So um, if they sit a bit away from that lead don't be afraid to take the tree over toward the lead a bit more make them come and sit by the lead so they know what the situation is and what you're asking them to do bear come one more time bear away <laughs> yes and sit excellent good sit good boy well done Okay, so the next thing we need to do is try to get our dogs to understand that part of the away command is that they go away to the item and sit or lie down, depending on which um, command you ask them to do when they go to their lead. Um, so let's have a go with Bear, see how he's getting on with it. Bear, come. Now I'm not going to ask him to sit on this occasion. I want him to have worked out that part of his away command is that he has to sit by that item. So he might think about it for a second and we'll see what he does. Bear, away. <laughs> so you can see that he's thinking about what he should be doing. Away. <laughs> away. <laughs> away. <laughs> yes, good away, good away. Good away. So I've not used the word sit that time. I've just reiterated the word away and it's taken him a few times to work out with a bit of barking in between. Um, that actually what I wanted him to do was to sit by the lead. So let's have another try and see if he does better. Bear come. Away. <laughs> So you see there, Bear has gone over to his lead. He's thought about it. He's barked because he's like, what do you want me to do? I'm not quite sure. Um, we've looked at each other and then he's uh, tried to sit. He's got what he's wanted from it. I've gone over and I've awarded him. Just make sure you aren't too far away that you can knit straight in a reward at the point they're doing that sit without being asked. Right, so now what you need to do is, if you've been practicing indoors, you need to go out into your garden if you have one and have a practice. Uh, you need to have a practice when you go out for your walks. Um, you've always got your lead with you on your walk, so that's a great tool um, and a little bit different, um, especially when we haven't got a lot of time to be able to walk them in the current climate. So once you have practice, practice, practice in different environments, you can start to think about transferring the away command to different objects. So um, obviously in class, we would um, teach the away command to the box that's on the floor. And uh, we would start off by putting the lead in the box. So you've already got a win there. Um, but eventually the, the lead would come away. So what you need to be able to do is teach your dog to go away to where you've touched your hand in the box um, without leaving a treat eventually. So um, when I'm out and about, I might use a lamppost, I might use a tree. If I'm in the garden, I might use a mat. Um, so it's the same procedure as before. I would start off by um, placing a treat by the object that I'm using and sending Bear away to that object and verbally rewarding that and following him with a treat. And then I would remove the treat and just ask him to go away to the object and verbally rewarding and then going straight in with the treat once he's done that away. And then I would um, want to see him going away to the object and sitting by the object. So 
hopefully that will then help you when you go into classes and you're asking your dog to go away to the box that we mark out on the ground you should be able to do that with the lead in place or hopefully if you've really been practicing you'll be able to um, just mark it with your hand and he will know to go over to where you placed your hand I hope you found it interesting I hope it's given you something fun to do whilst we're in the current climate and if nothing else when you come back to class you can show me how well you've gotten on with it have a great day take care guys